Oh, you're there. Welcome to Fentor. I'm studying a roadmap of Lincolnshire, ready for the bomber run. So a bit of reconnaissance needed. The date is fixed, the 6th of September. That's a Sunday. Look back at the bomber run video, or link up here, to find out more about what I'm planning. So this video today is a bit of an update, not just me looking at a map. I've been spending money again. Um, but before I talk about money being spent, um, I'd like to mention another channel who is, well, it's a crazy channel, a very, very crazy channel called Helmet Head. And the guy is a biker like us. He's got some crazy videos doing stupid things on his monkey bike and yeah, it's really, really silly. Make better than watching television. Anyway, he is planning a charity ride on, on a Honda Vision, which he has yet to purchase. Remember Honda Vision? A really shitty moped. He's raising money to get the moped and then for PTSD charity. So pretty good cause. Uh, link below in the description to his channel go and subscribe there watch his channel he is a bit bonkers but all the better for that we like some craziness spending money yeah so the harley tires harley fat bob tires are these awful dumb lot things everyone moans about them and they do tend to track and Apparently not that good in the wet, not that I'd go very fast to find out. But they're getting pretty squared off now after 4,000 odd miles. So getting replaced with some Avon Cobra Coro can't say it. Avon Cobra Chromes. Apparently on the Fat Bob Facebook group, they are the tires to be put on for the best cornering and grip, that sort of thing. So they're going on next week at great expense. Also next week, I'm feeling very guilty because for a long time now, my poor, lovely GSX 1400 has sat in the garage idle. I was taking it out for a YouTube ride at the end of last summer early autumn and just as I was about to start talking it misfired popped bang splutter just made it back diagnosis is fuel filter blocked with crud for lack of use because I'll be riding other bikes which isn't good so again I was feeling I, I, I really feel terrible that the poor bike's been sitting there and actually I want to ride it it's so much grunt so much thrust I need to get get it back out so next week as well it's off to a guy who knows his stuff about GSX 1400s to be repaired or be given some TLC about a repair good clean up of the fuel system fingers crossed I'll be out on it doing a video before the end of uh, the month or maybe uh, in most likely in September by the time I get round to it spending money yeah well I bought this look at this new helmet it's an Ari Tour X4 I had to look at the back <laughs> I've been sort of thinking I wasn't too sure about buying it so I got this from sports bike shop and they said wear it at home in the house until you're completely happy or send it back for a full refund well I've been wearing it in the house sadly it is it's sort of okay very very comfortable um, so I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna set up the GoPro on this side um, but also at the same time I have something else that I shall stick on the new helmet Cardo Pack Talk Bond. So, if you know what that is, it's 
communication headset. It hopefully will also talk to cheapo nasty headsets. You know who I'm talking about. It might not, but anyway. Um, again, main reason to buy it should be a lot better audio for listening to music. I like listening to music when I'm motorcycling and not vlogging. So, oh, and the uh, answering phone calls potentially should be a lot clearer and more reliable. We'll see. I'm not going to do one of those videos where it all gets fitted and, and there's plenty of those. I'm just going to put them on and see how we get on. And if it's a bit shite, I'll say so. But I would hope that if I set it up properly, it ought to be pretty bloody good. Anyway, that's enough for today. No motorcycles. It's been so hot this, this week. Today's cooled down. But I've been working uh, until this evening. So no motorbikes today either. It's 34 degrees C earlier this week. It was just too hot to put leathers and protective clothing on. So rather than go out and lose my skin, I left the bikes in the garage and chilled out with lots of cold alcoholic beverages. I'm not an alcoholic, honestly. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching Fentor. Hopefully you get some real motorbike riding videos up very soon. And we'll catch you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.